All right, what's up, everyone? Welcome to the Cyclone Fanatic Halftime Show presented by Carl Chevrolet, Des Moines Eye Care in Nebraska Furniture Mart, Matt Van Winkle, Jared Stansberry, live from a sold-out uh, Jack Trice Stadium. Uh, man, it looks like a great atmosphere out there, Jared. Um, Chris is Chris is not here with us. Brett Meyer is not here with us. Uh, Chris, did you say Chris is watching from the stands today, Jared? Yeah, Chris is in the stands with one of his friends from high school, so uh, he's Good out there hanging out. Yeah. Good for him. Um, all right, Iowa State trailing Texas uh, seven to three. Um, Jared, I just want to get your initial thoughts. I mean, man, the game the game started out great for Iowa State. I mean, Ishim Young comes up with a with a fumble. Iowa State has a great opportunity to go down and score a touchdown, and they come up with a field goal. And I think I think from that from that play, it kind of set the tone of the game that you knew this was going to be a tough, hard nosed football game. Uh, we've seen it get kind of chippy out there already. Um, give us your thoughts of the first half, man. Yeah, man. I mean, I think the biggest thing, first of all, is you just got to take advantage of your opportunities. You know, you get the ball yeah. in that situation and you're not able to go down and get it into the end zone. That's obviously huge. Um, you know, and you put up 180 yards of total offense and you score three points. Like, yeah, you got to be able to yeah. figure out a way to, you know, open some things up and get yourself a touchdown and, uh, you know, not shoot yourselves in the foot. It seems like every time they have a good play, something will happen that'll knock them back and keep them from being able to keep a drive going. Plus, Rob, yeah. what are they now? They're, are they 0 of 6 on third downs now? Yeah. Okay, so one, yeah, 1 of 6 on third down. Like, uh, 1, of, one seven, of 7, yeah. I guess. Yeah, when you're 1 of 7 on third down, you're not going to win very many yeah. football games. I think they're, uh, Rob said, before, what are they? They're like 3 of 19 for the last two weeks on third down, something like that. I mean, something horrible. Yeah, so, uh, got to be able to get that figured out and uh, you know, I think the first thing it comes down to, like, you can't be in third and long all the time. It seems like they've always been in third and long when they're in those situations. Right. Yeah. I mean, you had, you had a good drive going there. Um, and then obviously, um, X has that, you know, bon kind of, you know, play that you don't, yeah, don't expect to happen. Yeah. The fumble. I mean, it was yeah. kind of spinning around out there and, um, man, it looked like that was a, a positive drive moving forward. They were going to get a big chunk play there. Um, and man, like you said, missed opportunities. Um, you know, Texas, you know, really hasn't been playing great themselves, uh, 126 total yards compared to 180 for Iowa state. So, I mean, you're still right there in this game. You, you expected them to be, um, you would just hope this offense would do be able to do a little bit more than the way that, what they've shown so far. I mean, Brees, um, you know, 17 yards, seven carries. I mean, he really hasn't done much. He's had a couple, a couple of decent runs, but man, they yeah. just keep stopping him short of the line and, um, they seem to have an answer for him every time. So yeah, and I think as much as anything, that lands on the struggles of the offensive line. Like that group is just yeah. has really had a hard time being able to get pushed or to create any kind of seams or anything like that in the running game. I'm interested to see. You know, Jake Remsburg came in there at right tackle for him. You know, and we talked about this on football and random things and stuff like that. But Jake last year was one of probably their best offensive linemen by the end of the year and has hardly played. You know, if at all hardly right. this year. So. Like, I, I think I'm interested to see now you get him in there and, uh, you know, you get him into the mix a little bit more than, you know, maybe you can open some things up. They basically couldn't run off the right side of the offensive line, though, for, you know, the majority of the season. So, uh, you know, how do you fix those things? But, um, you know, I think Iowa State can still win this game. Texas by no means has controlled it or anything, you know, and uh, they've had a trouble finding anything consistently on offense either. So. Uh, we'll yeah. see, man. It should be an interesting second half, but this has been a pretty, to be quite frank, this has been a horrible football game. It has. It's been pretty ugly, but man, got to give props to Will McDonald, ties the Iowa State sacks record uh, with Jaquan. I mean, he's he's been dominant today. He and Eni have been great. Two sacks in the first half uh, for Iowa State. And I mean, and you, you look back on the offensive side, like Brock hasn't been sacked. There should have been probably three or four times he probably could have, you know, been sacked, but man, just shows you this, the talent that kid has, and we've seen it over and over from him um just his ability to make plays the one play that i go to is man that's you really had a missed opportunity was he, and he slid short of that on that fourth down play man he i mean it's kind of back to that game you don't you don't want to fault him too much but mm -hmm. um man just the, you got to have that awareness to like get that extra yard i mean he was again what one yard short of it that's it's yeah. tough man it's, it's tough yeah i mean that's it's tough you know and like obviously things are moving fast so it's hard to get too mad at somebody because like the game is a, it's a fast sport, you know, so uh, you just got to be able to figure out how to, to get those things done. But, you know, I think I was, like I said, I think Iowa state's okay. Like I'm not in any panic mode or anything like that. I mean, I, there's some things that are concerning, but I think you can also, 
you know, clean some of this stuff up and make a run here. You're going to get the ball to start the second half. It'd be nice to go down and score, take the lead back, put your defense back out there. The defense has played pretty well for the most part. Um, And I think that they, you know, you can get through this stuff. But, uh, man, there should be a prop bet every week. I don't know which one of the betting apps, whichever betting app wants to do this is going to make a boatload of money. Uh, There should be a prop bet every week. It's uh, will Will McDonald draw a holding call. (laughs) <laughs> and it yeah, would be will like McDonald's jersey be ripped by the end of the game <laughs> y- yes and it and it will be like minus 1000 for yes and plus you know plus 1000 for no or something crazy like that and uh just it, i mean it's it's unbelievable dude the guy gets held on every single play and he never gets a call i so, i've never so seen once, anything like that once he officially breaks the sack record they should just hang his jersey up that's just like ripped to shreds, like with Wolverine, like rips through it or something. Yeah. I mean, that would well, be I, fitting, right? <laughs> I tweeted it out during the Oklahoma State game that I don't know how he even has a jersey by the end of the, some of these games. Uh, but we need to get him like one of the Earl Campbell era tearaway jerseys so that when someone grabs it, it just rips off of his body. And then he'll be running around with like half of the jersey half the time. But I think they would need so many of them because he'd go through them so fast that it would be really uneconomical. So, yeah. So black uniforms today? What the heck? I thought they were going with the reds. Oh well, yeah, I guess they just wanted to change it up. Uh, I don't know. I it worked last time. It, it worked I, last time. Well, you know how Campbell they is, man, with his. If they don't win wearing the blacks, and they will have, then they will have lost three of their last four wearing them. I'm going to guess that the natives will get pretty restless with the blacks at that point, so it won't really matter. So, yeah. All right, man. Um, well, I guess just quickly, keys to the second half. What's what's the biggest thing for you? Get the yeah, offense I mean, I think, going. Defense yeah, is doing its out, thing. I mean, you got to figure out something to be able to run the ball. You know, and to keep yourself out of third and long. If they can get themselves out of third and long every single time, then I think that they can get some things going offensively. But that's when we see them play well is when it's, you know, third and short when they do get there. Uh, And you got to be able to do that. And then the defense, I mean, you just got to keep doing your thing. You know, keep getting B. John Robinson on the ground and um, keep getting after the the quarterback. They've been doing a good job of that. Got a couple sacks, you know, and he has, I think, one and a half. And then Will has that that one half sack. Uh, But they've also been just – you know, wreaking havoc back there. So continue to do that. But uh, I think it's important. You got to go down and score on this first drive just to get a little bit of momentum. And, you know, you got to land a punch back at them at some point. Not literally, even though things have gotten pretty chippy, uh, but figuratively. So Casey Thompson obviously started the game too, and then Card comes in. Do you think Do you think Card starts the second half? I mean, I would have to think the way they finished out, you know, with, with him coming in the yeah. game. Probably going to see Yeah, I, w- I would assume so. And I, I don't – no, like, I don't know how happy people have been with Casey Thompson the last couple of weeks. So I think this maybe is something that could have been brewing over time. But uh, I thought their offense probably looked better with Hudson Card out there. He looked like he was making, you know, more, uh, I don't even know. He was just being more decisive with his throws. Right. He would drop back and just throw it instead of, you know, sitting back there and looking around. So uh, yeah. I would guess they'll go with, with him and, um, you know, we'll see what happens. But you just got to keep playing, keep plugging away. All right, man. Appreciate you. Uh, appreciate everyone watching. Uh, I want to thank our sponsors, of course, Carl Chevrolet, uh, Ames and Des Moines Eye Care, and Nebraska Furniture Mart for uh, their years of loyalty to Cyclone Fanatic. Uh, also, we want to give a quick shout out to Brett Meyer. Did you see the news on Brett going into the Iowa High School Hall of Fame? This week? I did not see that, man. That's awesome. Bro. That? Oh, Brett man. was a hell of a player. Dude. Brett. Yeah. It's always good to man. get a Southwest Iowa into the Iowa High School Hall of Fame, man. So <laughs> shout out to Brett. That's cool. For sure. All right, Jared. Thank you. Appreciate you guys. You're going to have a, a wrap after the game with Rob. Yeah. Um, Chris, I'm sure we'll have content coming to you guys as well. Um, he's at the game, so he's enjoying it with his buddies and he's going to have an instant reaction. I'm sure after the game as oh well. Oh my so God. Stay tuned to that. Dude. What? There's like 50 Pikachus on the field. Oh, is it like a throwback video game night? Something like that. I don't know, but there's Pikachu and Pokeballs out on the field right now. And this is can you show us can you show us uh, i guess i mean i can try Hang i don't on. know if you guys will be able to really see <laughs> that's awesome yeah that's that's gonna go. be the new uh that's gonna be the That'll new go viral, uh, viral i'm sure the new viral yeah. like what did they have the year before it was like the t-rex one year yeah all right man all right man all right Thanks, everyone, for watching. Uh, Stay tuned to Cyclone Fanatic for more content after the game. Enjoy the second half. See you.